my name is Erin with Breath of Life Design and today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve that perfect raw wood look using a whitewash technique. So first, what you're going to want to do is this is the tray to a high chair. And so first step is to get it down to the raw wood, um, whether you strip it, sand it. So for this one I just sanded. and. You can tell this is a really beautiful oak um, high chair tray and it's already a really nice light wood. Problem is, you seal this and it's going to darken it. So I want to keep it looking just like this. So in order to do that, what you do is you whitewash it first. So then when you seal it, you don't have to worry about it darkening. So for whitewash, what you're going to want is some water and your white paint of choice. I'm gonna be using fluff because I already have some on hand and it's already opened. So first thing first is open that up, get you some water. And I'm gonna just pour it into a container. So I've got some water in there. I'm gonna say around, I don't know, maybe half a cup of water. And then I'm gonna pour about maybe a quarter cup of paint. And I'm just gonna mix it. I'm just using a chip brush here. You can mix it with a spoon, a paint stir, whatever you've got. All right, so you're gonna want this to be a nice, loose consistency. You're gonna want it to look like water, but you're gonna want it to look, you're gonna want it to run like water, but look like white paint. Pretty much looks like milk inside there. Okay, so when you feel like this is ready, and if you're putting it onto your piece and you're noticing it looks pretty much like water, add a little bit more paint. If you're putting it on your piece and it looks like you're putting straight paint on there, wipe it back and put more water in it. I have yet to mess this up, so it's pretty easy. Okay, so I'm gonna just start applying it onto this wood here. And I like to go against the grain when I'm painting this because uh, it helps it really get into those pores. So I'm just applying here. And this is just one way that you can achieve this raw wood look. I've done it with other ways, but this is the best way if you have um, a lighter colored wood. So if you're dealing with a mahogany or a uh, maybe like a red oak, a walnut, this is not going to look the same. So you're going to want to deal with a light wood. All right, so I just have a rag here and I'm just wiping that. That's all I'm doing. And you just wipe back until it's all off of there. I don't want to see any uh, brush strokes or lines where I'm leaving some of this whitewash mixture. Okay, so I didn't do all of it, so I don't know if you can tell much. But so this is where it's been done, and this is where it hasn't been done. So I'm going to just complete it. Now, I usually go about two coats on this. Um, like I said, just try to kind of work it in there so you're getting into those wood grains. Um, so I've done this process a lot and it creates a really, really awesome finish. Um, you can go to my social media pages and see some of the pieces that I've completed using this technique. It's really popular technique. It's really, uh, really easy, really simple, and gives you amazing results. Okay, so just wiping back again. Now, one thing you will notice is when you start getting these pores of this wood wet, they're gonna start raising, which you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but this was a very smooth, nice surface. Now it's kind of 
kind of scratchy. So prior to putting on your clear coat, you can just give it a nice light sanding with like, I don't know, 220 grit, maybe even higher. And that'll cut that down. Okay, so I think this might be a good way you can see. Okay, so whitewash, no whitewash. See that? It's pretty drastic. And <clears throat> you might start putting it on there and think to yourself, geez, this looks really white, like uh, almost like it's painted wood. I'm not sure this is what I was going for. Trust me, it's, it's gonna be what you're looking for because like I said, that clear coat, it darkens it. So even after you've whitewashed, a clear coat will still darken it. That's the whole point though. You've lightened your wood now, we'll just say like two steps lighter. So when you put that clear coat on and it does darken it slightly, you're still back to uh, that raw wood look. Okay. So that's one coat. We're just gonna give that a little bit of time to dry. And while we're waiting for this to dry, I'll just mention, um, I did a piece with pine wood. And the way I got the whitewash look on it was I used the no paint gel stain in Picklin White and I applied it on there and it looked really good. It took that yellow hue out of the wood. And then I'm trying to think, one day I tried to whitewash walnut wood. It was a veneer and I thought, eh, let's play around. I hated the way it turned out, so I sanded it back and I ended up staining it. But if you're wanting to whitewash, um, like I said, a darker wood, like walnut or mahogany, your best bet is to bleach it. So there's products out there that are wood bleach. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with that product and I wanted to perfect it a little bit more before I came on here and taught y'all that. But for now, this is gonna be your way to whitewash oak, uh, pine, you could do this, or the no pain gel stain, uh, ma not mahogany, uh, maple, those kind of light woods, which majority of your furniture pieces are gonna be. Okay, so seriously, that's probably dry enough. You don't have to like wait a long time. This is gonna be it. And so I'm really excited about this piece because this high chair is actually gonna be for my nephew. And it was actually my aunt and uncles. They used it for their kids and they were getting rid of it and asked me if um, if I wanted it because they know I redo furniture. And I personally didn't have any use for it, but my brother and his wife had just had a kid and I thought, hey, this would be a great uh, little gift for them. So I'm redoing it for them. And they kind of gave me an idea of what they were wanting, but they, pretty much left it up to me. And so I know their style. And so I chose to do this with the tray, sand it back, get this awesome, beautiful light wood showing. And then on the base of the chair, so I can bring the chair over to show y'all in just a moment. I'm gonna actually do a custom paint mix and it's gonna be a really nice green. Um, I used it on a piece already before, but it's um, two parts kudzu, two parts collard greens, and one part hurricane gray. And it gives you this beautiful bluish green. Um, I would say it's a cool sage is what it is. So yeah, that's what the color of the chair is gonna be. So if you can just imagine, like a sagey green with this bleached wood look like that is gonna be so beautiful and this is a durable high chair so they're gonna get lots of years out of this this is their first kids hoping it'll last them so let me go grab that chair real quick and i can show y'all what it's gonna go on But yeah, so this is going to be the chair that I'm going to paint in that custom green. And then you can see with this light wood, it's going to be beautiful. So again, the way you achieve this whitewashed look, you just add some of your favorite white paint, whatever you have on hand. 
butter, Dixie Belle buttercream, um, fluff, cotton, whatever. And then you add water. Mix it up. I just use a little chip brush. Brush it on against the grain, then wipe back. Brush it on again, wipe back. And then you are pretty much done. You can even add another coat if you would like. If what you're seeing on here is not quite what you're wanting, feel free to uh, add more coats as you like. Then, oh, for sealing. I guess I should add that. Sealing. I use Gator Hide. Love it on wood. It's my favorite sealer for um, my projects that have exposed wood. So I would apply on that. Probably, I'm going to probably go with three coats, but I typically go with two. This is going to be having to stain a child and a child's messy hands. So three coats is probably going to be a winner for me. But yeah, so you just apply it. I like to use the blue sponge and that's it. <laughs>